Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and in today's video I'm excited because we are going to upgrade the DS920 Plus from version 6.2.4 to the new DSM-7. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. So in the last video, we did the initial setup of the DS920 Plus. And again, I want to thank Synology for sending me this device. We did the installation of the DSM 6.2.4 along with setting up a storage pool and the volume. Today, we are going to go ahead and take this Virgin unit and we're going to upgrade it from 6.2.4 to the brand new DSM-7. So I'm signed into the DS920 Plus. Now, before we go ahead with the upgrade process, this is a brand new NAS. There's not really anything to back up because we didn't do anything beyond installing the initial DSM 6.2.4. We created the storage pool, we did the volume, but we haven't added any other apps from the package center or any data or anything like that. So I'm not going to do a backup of this unit as far as the data. However, if you're taking a NAS and considering backing it up to DSM-7, I would highly and strongly recommend that you do back up your data. Now, there are several ways you can do that. You could use hyper backup, you could use USB copy, and I've done videos, I've done a ton of videos actually on this channel on using hyper backup to back up to a USB drive, to back up to Google, to back up to Synology C2. So if you're interested, check out some of those videos before you proceed with the upgrade. Another thing you might want to consider backing up as well is your configuration file. And that said, let's go over to the control panel on the DS920 Plus. Let's go to update and restore. And let's check the version of DSM 6.2.4 that we're running and it's dash 25556. And we're going to need to know that when we go over to download DSM 7. Now that we're here, let's click at the top on configuration backup. And here you have the option of backing up the configuration file and also restoring a configuration. So let's click on backup configuration and you can see here it's go going to back up all of these things. I'm not going to read them to you. You could take a look at them on the screen. So let's go ahead and click yes. And you can see there in the lower left hand corner, it downloaded the configuration file to my computer. So now that we have that done and we know the version of DSM, let's hop over to Synology and download the new DSM. So we're at Synology.com and let's go over to the support page. Let's go to Download Center and let's click on the drop down menu and select our product type. So we're working with the NAS today. We're going to select which product we have. So you can scroll through the list of one bay, two bay, four bay NASs, or you can just type in the model that you have. So we're going to type in DS920. You see it appears there. So let's select that. And it gives you the option to download 6.2.4 or upgrade from your current DSM version to your preferred version. Now let's read this here. Please select your current DSM version and the version you wish to update to. Once the download is complete, Go to the DSM control panel and run a manual update, and that's very important. So let's select our DSM version, and we're running 6.2.425556. And we want to upgrade to version 7. So we're going to select the only version 7 that there is available, and we're going to go ahead. You can see here it's telling us it's OK. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Download. And it just down, it's in the process of downloading DSM-7 to the computer. So once this is done, we'll jump back into the control panel and we'll go with the manual update process. If you're finding any value in today's video, smash that like button. It lets the algorithm know you like what we're doing here on the channel. Now, back to the video. Okay, so the download of DSM-7 has completed. We're back in the control panel. We're in the update and restore area and we're on the DSM update tab and we're going to click on manual DSM update to start the process. Next it's asking us to locate the file that we downloaded so we're going to browse 
and it's in the downloads folder and it's called DSM 920 I think it's this one here yep so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open that and we're gonna say okay now before we do this notice down here it says note the DSM version cannot be rolled back the applied DSM must be newer than the current one so we're okay with that let's go ahead and click okay and now it's transferring the data to the server and now there's an update notice and before you continue make sure to read through the important changes that will take place And it says here under third party packages, the support status of third party packages on DSM 7 may vary depending on the package. Please refer to this article and there's a link here for more information. For packages not published in the package center, please contact respective developers for more information. So now, again, this is a clean NAS. There's nothing on it, so I'm not too worried about that at this point, but it is something to consider and note if you're, you're upgrading an existing NAS that's been running in production or in a lab for quite some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on I understand and agree to update the system. We're gonna click the red next button. And here it says the installation may take 10 to 20 minutes to finish. Please do not shut down the system during the update. Once it's complete, the system will restart. All services and packages, do you want to continue? And we are going to say yes. Okay, so the process has completed. The upgrade is done. We're looking at a brand new look of the DSM-7. And the whole upgrade process took about five minutes, if that. It really didn't take that long. So let's go ahead and get ourselves signed in and see what the new um, desktop looks like. So we'll sign in with the username that we created in the setup video. Here it says it's updating our data and settings. And now let's see what's new in DSM-7. More versatile than ever and streamlined and more intuitive, easier management and maintenance, faster and more secure. Let's click on start. Select the services you wish to enable. Well, right now we're gonna skip all this. I just wanna look around the desktop for a second device analytics, and I'm going to say no thanks to that. Okay, so we have the option to take a quick tour, and then down here we can see the system health, and the status is healthy, the resource monitor, everything's looking good. So the icons have a new look. You can see there's a different desktop pattern. It's supposed to be a lot quicker and a lot snappier, so hopefully we'll see over time how it performs. Let's take a look at the new control panel. So it definitely has a different look to it. Okay, looking at the main menu. Similar, again, just a new look. So let's take a quick look at the package center. Package center, center terms and terms of service. So we'll go ahead and we'll click I've read and agree and we can look at all the different apps installed. So a couple of the apps that I'm going to install, probably starting with the next couple of videos, I want to definitely get the Virtual Machine Manager installed and fire up a virtual machine. I want to look at the single sign-on and the password list uh, sign-on. And I also am going to uh, take a look at the Synology photos. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. It really didn't wasn't much of an upgrade. Now, again, this was a Virgin NAS. It didn't have anything on it. So there wasn't really a lot of pressure on me performing this upgrade. But I understand if you take a NAS that you've been running, like if I took my DS2 16 plus two, um, if it's eligible for DSM-7, I haven't even checked the specs on that. But if it was, I have so much running on that NAS that I there would be a little bit more pressure running the upgrade process. So I totally understand that. But that's why you, it's most important, I can't stress this enough, to make sure you back up your data and won't hurt to have uh, multiple backups as well. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. 
Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.